Hi, Marie here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm totally excited to share with you my Kais perfume haul with you. Now, I bought these with my own money, but I reached out to Terry Bozo or Bozo and um, asked her if she would give us a coupon code and she did. So uh, I'll leave the coupon code linked below. If you are a gourmand lover, you are going to love this house. So I can't wait to share these with you. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please feel free to hit that button and join the Weird and Wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. We are amazing. And other than that, let's get started. So as I mentioned in my haul video, and I've mentioned it a few times, I got a sample from Hesse of Zucchero Filato. Um, and this is essentially a cotton candy fragrance. So I got the little sample and I sprayed it on my hand and I absolutely fell in love with it. Like, I'm like, this is amazing. Like, I was so, so excited about it, which kind of shocked me because I didn't really think I'd be into just cotton candy. Loved it. It's not just cotton candy. I guess that's the other thing about it. There's this um, kind of berry quality to it as well. So there's a bit of tartness, then that beautiful cotton candy. So it's not overpoweringly sweet. Uh, and to me, this is what I wish pink sugar was, honestly. I am absolutely thrilled with this one. I had that little sample, used it a couple times. The longevity was amazing. Like I'm talking 10 hours, I could smell this. Projection, fantastic. So um, from that little sample, I went on the site and just did a deep dive and had to get a bunch of stuff. So start with Zucchero Falato. This one has sponge sugar berries and more sponge sugar. So it's basically like a pink cotton candy uh, fragrance. There's a, that little component of um, berry in it, but overall you're getting just a, a sweet cotton candy. So if you're into that, like it makes my mouth water when I smell it. I've paired this with different fragrances in my collection and I just think it's phenomenal. I absolutely love it. A few people have purchased it since I talked about it uh, in one of my What I Wore videos and they love it too. So. If you like cotton candy, this one is definitely worth checking out. The next full bottle I got was Coco alla Vanilla. Um, it's it's spelled Vaniglia, <laughs> so I want to say Vaniglia just because I think it sounds hilarious, but I believe it's Coco alla Vanilla. Um, this one, it smells like coconut cream. Like I, it, it basically smells to me like a coconut cream pie. It's really thick, it's quite heavy, like it's a heavy coconut fragrance, but I think it's amazing. And again, longevity is fantastic. The, the notes in this one on the website are coconut pulp, CO2, vanilla beans, organic tonka bean butter, and cream. There's definitely um, a cocoa butter uh, type quality to this, especially on paper. And at first when you put it on your skin, it's gonna smell quite cocoa buttery uh like just just for a little while uh but it develops into that delicious coconut cream it smells pulpy coconut not coconut water not not any sort of thin coconut super duper luscious meaty coconut uh fresh uh fresh meaty coconut mixed with whipped cream I basically could eat this and I absolutely love this one. Uh, this one is definitely a gourmand coconut. So sometimes coconut can smell watery, refreshing. This is more of a heavy gourmand uh, vanillic coconut. But uh, if you want something that smells that way, this one is fantastic. Powerful, longevity is good, although it sits a little closer to the skin than Zucchero Filato. This one was definitely the star out of all of the fragrances as far as longevity. The Coco Alla Vanilla, I could smell it for a long time on my skin, but it tends to only project for about the first hour, two hours, and then it sets a little closer to the skin, seemingly, uh, in the times that I've tried it. Really happy to have this one. So the next one that I wanna share with you is one of the cute little samples. So her samples, come in these little tiny jars. 
uh, which are pretty darling. And I thought to myself, well, they're going to be kind of useless. They've got a little hole on the top, but they actually, uh, like if you just put it on your hand and kind of dab it, it comes out actually pretty easy. So Coconut Tiare has a similar coconut note to the Coco of Aloe Vanilla, except this one, of course, is paired with Tiare flower. So the notes are Tiare Absolute, Coconut Pulp CO2, Organic Tonka Bean Butter, Vanilla Beans, and Cream. Now, what's interesting about this one is when I first put it on my skin, I thought to myself, oh, I much prefer this over the Coco Aloe Vanilla uh, because, you know, the Tiare is really pretty. Uh, so I put it on my skin, for like the first 10 minutes, I'm like, oh, I love this. And then it starts drying down and this one projects big time. So I could smell it big time strong it, it, and I was testing a bunch of perfumes. This I could smell the most. And I'm like, what does that smell like? What does it smell like? And it wasn't really great. Like it wasn't something I really loved. And I'm like, what am I smelling? What am I smelling? It reminded me of Black Orchid. I don't know how that is possible, but it smelled like a summer version of Black Orchid is basically what this smelled like. I don't know how. I don't know if it's just my skin chemistry, but for the next like four or five hours, it smelled like a, a, a summer version of Black Orchid. I couldn't believe it. I wasn't really happy about that because Black Orchid is kind of like a zombie fragrance to me kind of liking it but kind of don't so that's the way it smelt for the longest time on my skin and then it went back to tiare and coconut when i was smelling kind of more in the beginning except a little bit more vanilla uh esque so this was an interesting one it's going to be a pass for me but if you like black orchid you may want to check this one out because and, and maybe i'm the only one that gets black orchid but yeah, really interesting. Um, definitely a, a, a nice fragrance, fantastic in projection, uh, but I'm just not a fan of that, that Black Orchid vibe. So I will pass on this one, uh, but yeah, super interesting. Uh, one other thing I had said before, I linked Sarah May's videos in, uh, my, in my haul video, but I'm gonna link, I think she's got two of them. And to me, her videos were the absolute best on the Kais perfume house so please go check her videos out they'll be linked down below and also uh the kai site will be on there plus the coupon code and i don't get anything for it for it this is not a sponsored video this is just me i reached out to her because i was so excited about this company okay the next fragrance that i want to share with you is pesh Oh, yuzu. So this one obviously is peach and yuzu. Uh, the notes are peach, yuzu, jasmine, vanilla, and tonka bean. This was definitely a hit with me. I absolutely love this. Uh, it just smells so peachy. It smells a little bit like a peach candy. There's some tartness in this one. Uh, I love it. It smells a cross between a realistic peach and a peach candy. So kind of a mixture of the two love 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 the opening now as this one dries down I don't know if it's just me but or my imagination but it kind of got pastry like so somehow in the dry down of this one it reminded me of like you know crispy crispy pastry like a fresh crispy pastry with this beautiful peach kind of compote uh, but more fresh than that. Oh, it makes my mouth water with some sugar crystals on top and you bite into it and you're smelling kind of the pastry, the crystals and the peach. That's what I get in the dry down on my skin. It goes a lot warmer and a lot more gourmand as opposed to fruity, but you keep that peach the whole entire time. This one, I absolutely love it. And it's, I'm going to get a full bottle of this one for sure at some point. It's just fun. If you like smelling like a big, huge peach, you definitely want this one. Like my mouth is watering. It's amazing. Next one is Douceur Brûlé. So um, I don't know what Douceur means, but Brûlé, like I think Creme Brûlée. The notes are lemon, brown caramel, butter, coconut milk, beeswax, absolue, oak moss, and broxen and musk. This smells so delicious. In the very opening, you get just a hint of lemon. Honestly, I wish the lemon would last just a little bit longer. 
uh, if, if, if they could get that lemon to last a little longer, this would be like literally so, so, so amazing. Uh, definitely craving that lemon to balance out the sweet. Uh, this one to me smells like in the opening, like le a little hint of lemon with a creme brulee, full on. As this dries down, you get kind of a caramel cookie uh, smell coming out uh, rather than more of that custard. Uh, it smells like a toffee, so definitely brown sugar, like I get a brown sugar vibe from this, uh, or caramelized sugar, definitely I get that. So that is kind of your center uh, stage smell. Fantastic. The, the, the projection on this one, and again, projection may be better in a spray, uh, but like, um, you know, just comparing my little daubers that I have, this one projected uh, fairly well, uh, but did sit a little closer to the skin. But the longevity of this one is insane. Like I got, um, I got like at least 12 hours, if not like almost like a full, like 20 hours. Like it was, it, it was crazy. Like it just stayed and stayed and stayed. So love this fragrance. If you love that kind of like a caramel brown sugar vibe, this one is absolutely delicious. Um, I'm not a huge fan of caramel, so I probably wouldn't get a full bottle of this one and it's so powerful, like so powerful, but I can see pairing this one actually with different fragrances and for the fall and winter, this one would be so comforting and cozy. So definitely beautiful. I can see this one being one of her most popular ones. I'm, sh I'm sure it is because it's just that delicious. Next one is called We Plus. And this one is kind of like a s'mores fragrance. So that's the idea behind it. It has graham cracker, marshmallow, cocoa absolute, bal balsam, patchouli, styrax, and a bit of burnt coffee. So um, definitely I get, um, oh, this one is just amazing. If you like chocolate fragrances, you've got to try this one. This smells like chocolate and graham wafer crust. Um, I am in love with this fragrance. The interesting thing about this one is there's also a hint of, of um, coffee and I definitely get that, but it smells almost like a coffee liqueur or some sort of boozy quality to this one. Um, I am definitely getting a full bottle of this. I love it. Um, you know, definitely more for fall or winter. I can see this smelling so amazing with By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela that like the combo would be like basically roasting s'mores out of fire. Like that's what it would smell like. Um, I, I, I'm addicted to this. Like I am definitely getting this, like instead of having my Hugo Boss, the scent private accord, this would be the one I, I would go for. The thing about this one is though you get the chocolate and that graham wafer and it's edible smelling, it doesn't go super sickly sweet because that little bit of, uh, you know, bitter coffee or that uh, liqueur vibe that I get just kind of balances out the sweetness. So I absolutely love this one. Uh, longevity isn't as good as the brulee one. That one's crazy, uh, but still decent longevity on this one. I, I, I think this one sits a little closer to the skin too. But I, again, I want to smell chocolatey. I want to smell that smell on me. I don't necessarily want the whole world thinking I smell like a big s'more. So I don't mind if it sits a little closer to the skin. It makes it kind of one of those, you know, cuddle type fragrances, which I absolutely love. So, so impressed with Wee Plus. I'm totally getting a full bottle of this one in the fall. The last one I have for you is Serenade aux Fraises. This one has strawberry, passion fruit, plum, Moroccan rose, cream, Tahitian vanilla, organic sandalwood, violet leaf, musk, and black agar. Um, what I get out of this one is kind of, uh, at, at first you definitely get that burst of strawberry. Uh, it doesn't smell super synthetic, but it definitely is, is synthetic. It doesn't smell like wild strawberries. Uh, but it's really hard, I think, to do a strawberry note. Um, that said, I really like it. So I like the strawberry opening. I actually put this one on my hand. So um, at first it smells like uh, strawberries and cream. 
uh, a little bit more strawberries and cream. Um, maybe a little bit like a strawberry shortcake, so a little bit cakey with the cream and strawberries. Uh, remind you, a little bit more of a synthetic strawberry. Then kind of more deeper into the dry down, it smells a little bit more like a strawberry shortcake doll from the 1980s. So I don't know if you remember those, but my sister loved them. I hated them. I didn't like anything scented, uh, like scented dolls just kind of creeped me out. In fact, when I hear someone say, oh, it smells like a doll's head, like perfumes that smell like a doll head, I basically want to retch. Like the thought of smelling plasticky doll head, sweet, sicky, almondy, weird, uh, like not a fan. So this goes a little strawberry shortcake. I don't mind it, but it definitely has that strawberry shortcake doll feel to it, just for a while. And then in the deep dry down, this goes a lot more just strawberries and cream, little bit of shortcake in there. Um, I actually really like this one, uh, but I don't think I would get a full bottle of this one, at least for now. We'll see, like I'll keep using the sample. I can see myself maybe getting a little warmer to this one, because um, I it's kind of fun, kind of sweet, kind of just girly. It's not an absolute no, but it's not one that I would gravitate towards right away. So that is it. Out of all of these, I am so happy to have the two big bottles of this. I'm glad I got a larger size sample of the Peach and Yuzu and will definitely be getting a full bottle of this. I'm definitely getting a full bottle of the Wee Plus. Absolutely have to have that. Uh, this will be just so beautiful in the fall. I want to try more samples because I'm so, so impressed with them. Um, and these little, these little samples, like, although they're so tiny, uh, they actually hold, like, you get a lot of wares out of them. So uh, I'm not unhappy with these weird little containers. I think they're actually really darling. <laughs> um, I can see out of all of these, the biggest hit being this uh, Doucier Brulee one. I can see most people really, really loving this. If you're a fan of caramel, kind of caramel cookie, uh, caramel biscotti, wafers, toffee wafers, that kind of thing. I can see uh, a lot of people really, really enjoying this one. Uh, overall, like I said, so, so impressed with this line. I, I'm so happy that my friend gave me that zucchero filato, which started it all off. And yeah, can't wait to rock this one. Although this is so sweet, I think that this will be great all year round. I can definitely see my, me wearing this sweet sucker uh, in the summertime, even though it's so, so sweet, it's not heavy or cloying somehow. So love this one. The Coco Alla Vanilla, I think this one could get a little cloying because it's really kind of that coconut cream vibe. So I'm not sure how this one will do, but I can't wait to actually pair this with other fragrances as well. So I will keep you updated on them. If you've tried Kais, perfumes, uh, please leave in the comments what your thoughts are, what your experience has been. Uh, me just kind of chatting a little bit with Terry. She's such a sweet person. Really impressed with all of these fragrances. So excited to share them with you. And yeah, we can get 20% off. Yay! They're also affordable. Like I think the 30 ml bottle is $42. Uh, the samples are a little bit pricey, but again, uh, you know, she's got to make money on packaging and stuff like that too. Um, the These though, for $42 for 30 mils, not a bad price. I think the largest size is a 60 mil, I think, for 60 bucks. Could be wrong there. Uh, but then with 20% off, this ends up being $32 US, so not bad. Shipping to Canada is $10, uh, so that's affordable as well. So really impressed with this house. If you're a gourmand lover, you've got to check them out. It's just really fun. Yay! And that is it. I hope you have an amazing week, and we'll talk to you soon.